Good morning, Jasmine. morning. morning. Hello, everyone.
We are going to wait just a few more minutes. Hopefully we can get the majority of people in here um, because I have a couple of things I want to talk about. Hello, hello, hello. We have some new people coming in. Benjamin, Ivan, that's Leah. There's Jermaine. Emma is here. Hi, Ivan, how are you? Uh. Okay, we're going to wait just a couple more minutes while we're waiting. Um, we are going to switch things up a little bit. So if you look in Schoology, I have changed a couple of things. So why don't you look at our Schoology sort of class area while we are waiting for our last couple of stragglers. Ah, there's one of them. Hello, 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 hello. I know I've got one more coming. Ah, there he is. Okay, so. Ah, there's Lacey too, excellent.
Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So please make sure that you are listening closely because some of this information, actually most of this information is pretty good news, okay? Then today's gonna be a work day and I'll tell you what uh, we need to get done today. But if you look in our Schoology, you'll notice that there's something missing. What is it? What is absent from our Schoology now? Look in class content. Anybody see something that is now gone? That's a good thing that I removed it then because it was supposed to be due. Ha ha, thank you, yes. Paul has noticed that the Short scene project is gone. Now that doesn't mean we're not gonna work with the short scenes that you have been working on. However, I decided that I wanted to put a pen in those scenes um, because I want you to be able to focus on the paper, okay? So all of those, the scenes that you were, wrote, the scenes you've been working on, I want you to save those. We're going to come back to them after uh, Thanksgiving break, okay? So between Thanksgiving and Christmas, we're going to work on that and the directing stuff. But we're going to put a pin in it for now, and we're going to focus our attention onto the RPA papers, okay? What do you guys, how do you guys feel about that? Does that make you feel better? Yes? Anybody else have any response? So you're still gonna get to use those. We're still gonna play around with them, but I want us to focus on the paper for now. So if we click onto the RPA paper, do 1119, all right? Everybody make sure that they have that open. So Saeed, can you read the task description for there in the paper for me? paper we on the rpa paper it's at the top of the class um content folder like the topic what play are you going to watch for your paper please give me the link no class content top of our top of class content. There's a document that says RPA paper due 1119. Yeah, click on that. That's what I want everybody in. All of it. Just the task description. Okay, students must choose between professional, personal, or peer body of work to critique. Critique must be written in paper form. The RPA consists of three sections, one, identification of the body of work, two, critique, and three, reflection. Students must use a range of evidence to support the argument. Word count is required. A bibliography and citations required if needed. Okay, perfect. All right, so by the end of today, I want you to have told me what play you're going to watch and give me a link. That's in the exit ticket, okay? So that's our first thing we're going to do today. What play are you going to watch and provide a link to the version you are going to watch? Okay. So I want to give you 
like 20 minutes to do that, okay? If you need any help, reach out to me, but 20 minutes, and I want you to be able to tell me, you know, you can start, you can open the exit ticket if you want to put that in there, the play that you're going to watch and a link to the version that you're going to watch, okay? So 20 minutes, I'm going to put 20 minutes on the clock, and if you need help, reach out to me, and I will help you find something. So there we go, 20 minutes. Okay, that's a good question. Um, okay, so a couple of things. Let me be specific. It can, it needs to be a full length play, but I am not going to, you can watch whatever type of play you want to watch. Okay, but it does need to be a full length play. Okay. So it, um, so Paul, we can't use 21 Chump Street because that's not a full length play. That's a one act or actually it's a 10 minute, okay? Where can you find a play for free? There are lots and lots of plays on YouTube and I am more than happy to help you find one. Um, okay. Okay. They sh they're most of them shouldn't be blocked. We'll have to work together. So let me, because a lot of you are asking me, it can be any play, Leah. I'm going to open it up to any play because um, a lot of people were... Okay. All right. So this is why I want to, I want to help you guys. Okay. Let me give you and I, uh, a link to a very large list of musicals that are all on YouTube. For those of you who are interested in things like Hamilton and all of that, you can go ahead and use this list to help you get started. So here's a playlist for you to peruse. Check that out. Yes, Marco, those are all for free. So those of you who are putting it in the chat, that's that's fine, but just re realize you're going to also have to put it in the exit ticket, okay? And, and I'm also going to need a link to it in the exit ticket to the one that you're going to watch so that I can take a look at that as well, because I have to also be familiar with all the plays you're going to write about, right? So um, Faith, um, we are looking for a play right now that you're going to write your paper on. And here is a link to a bunch of musicals that you may be able to, that you might want to pick from. So you've got like 16 more minutes as you are looking for a play.
those of you who are coming in late, I want to remind you today is Wednesday. So class started a while ago. All right. For those of you who are putting in chat, that's fine. But just remember, I'm also going to need a link to it in the exit ticket. Okay. I'm sorry, Benjamin, I missed your question. Most full length plays are over 80 minutes long. Marco, um, Sweeney Todd is in that list and it's a very good version of Sweeney Todd. So we are looking for a play. Just be aware that you will be putting the, okay. All right, Paul, that's fine. Uh, make sure though that, is it the, the staged version or the movie? Because I don't want you to do the movie. You've got to do the staged version. So if you want to do the stage version, it's on, it's in that playlist. Who's do you know who played Sweeney in it, or who played Mrs. Lovett? Because then I'll be able to tell you. Yep, Jasmine, that's fine. Yeah, that's the movie, Paul. Uh, let me find it for you, Marco. But it is on the um, the Johnny Depp version is not the stage production. That's the the movie. However, if you want to do Sweeney Todd, it is in here. As is Jekyll and Hyde, which is another one that's uh, pretty good. Next to Normal is in here, which is very good. Here is the Marco. I'm going to send you the link. Can help. This sentence is grammatically correct, but it's wordy and hard to read. It undermines the writer's message and the word choice is bland. Okay, Abdullah, I will help you find one in just one second. It's going to be in the exit ticket, Ivan. You'll have to put in the play and a link to which version of it. Yeah, it's unavailable because it's not like exit ticket time. So I want you to make sure that you save it, right? Your RPA exit ticket is what, uh, where you're going to put it. Okay, somebody asked me. Okay, I see.
When school isn't a place you have to be, why not go to school? Um, Paul, this is going to be your RPA essay, which is something that's assigned by Summit. Um, Marco, what I'm saying is if you wanted, I could like bar, I could lend you my DVD of it. I think the, um, let me see. Oh yeah, it's, uh, Marco, that it probably did. This is just, this is the only paper, Paul. You don't have to do the other paper. We're not gonna, we're just doing the RPA paper for this quarter. So you're going to do a critique of the play that you watch. That's what we're deciding right now. I decided to make it different because it's harder to find um, to find some of these plays than others, and I thought this would be the the fairest way to do it. Yep, we're going to go over all that in a bit. Right now, I'm just trying to give people, we're going to go over all the other questions in a bit. Right now, we're just, we've got seven more minutes for people to find the play that they want to cover, okay? And then we're going to break it down further. So if you already know, if you already know what play you're going to write about, I would like you to then look at the RPA uh, paper assignment and read that over closely because a lot of the answers to the questions, some of the answers to the questions you're asking are in that. So for those of you who are just joining us, we are using this time to, to try to find a version of a play that you are going to write your paper on, okay? There's lots of free ones on YouTube. I also posted a link to a big old list of options. So if anybody is looking for a specific play, 
and need some help, let me know, please. Because everybody who is in here needs to have their play chosen by the end of this class. Oh, sorry, that was meant for Marco. So let me know in the chat. I've heard responses from some of you. If you are still don't have a play, let me know so that I can help you try to find something. I haven't heard from lots of people. Jermaine, I saw yours, but I lost it. Can you tell me which one you want to do again? Okay, did you find a version uh, of piano lesson? Okay, perfect, great, wonderful, thank you. Um, Lacey, you are asking for help, is that what you're saying? Okay. Okay, did you find a version of it, uh, Haiti? Abdullah, I sent you a version that you can get through a free trial. If you want to do that, you just start your trial, watch it, and then cancel it. It's very easy. Um, yes, Lacey, it can, as long as it's a full, a full um, length play. Yes, I will send it again. Okay, uh, Haiti, that's fine. If there are, um, okay, Emma, thank you. If there are other things that you're thinking about watching. Um, Broadway HD has a lot of stuff and they are, it's very easy to sign up, use your free trial and then cancel. So that might also be another option. All right, so I've got falsettos for Emma. So let's see, who else haven't I heard from? Um, Sundis, I haven't heard from you. Benjamin. Leah, I haven't heard from you. Amani. Corey, okay, do you know which, uh, what play you, you want to watch? Have you found one yet? Corey, I haven't heard from you. Okay, Leah, thank you. And you've got your links in, good. 
Okay, Benjamin, thank you. Wonderful. Okay, I need to hear from a few people. Sundis, yes, Jasmine, that is what you are going to be doing. That's what we're gonna cover next. That's why I'm asking you to pick one, to pick a, a play. So I need a play from Sundis, from Amani, from Corey, Faith, Saeed, Eric, Caesar, and Lacey. I know Lacey is looking for something. So that we can move on, guys. You're going to, okay. All right. Thank you. Who else? Sundis, Amani, Corey, Faith, Eric. Okay, Faith, thank you very much. Eric, Caesar, Lacey. Okay, thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, we got to move on. Okay, so whatever play that you pick, that's the play you're going to write your RPA paper on, okay? So going back to, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. You're going to watch your play. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy for that, right? Now, again, three sections, identify, critique, reflect. Number one, identify. Jemaine, can you read us this section in identification, please? Scholar clearly and objectively presents the body of work. What type of performance is this and how do you know? Use evidence to support your answer. What genre is this body of work? School Scholar details reasoning for choosing this body of work. Why did you choose this body of work? What in those performance spoke to you? What questions do you have about this performance? Why do you think your teacher chose this performance? Okay, all right. So I'm not picking this performance for you, so you're not gonna answer that part, right? But you're gonna talk about you can talk about, um, you know, what is it, what kind of performance it is, meaning genre, right? Um, why did you pick it? What it? What is it, like, how does it speak to you? What questions do you have about it? Okay, so this is not terribly difficult. You're just identifying what you wrote about, what you watched, right? Then you're going to critique it. So in the critiquing part, you're going to talk about essential elements like acting, writing, set design, costume design. You are going to talk about how those contribute to the tone of the show. You will talk about what do you think went well, what didn't, what would you have changed and make sure that you're using theater specific vocabulary, the kind of stuff that we've been using this whole semester, okay? Now, reflection, um, let's see. Emma, can you read the reflection 
part of us here don't you don't have to do the tips the reflection is clearly focused on what the critique highlighted restate what is your performance what are your essential elements acting performances one to two actor technical writing set design costume design what are the essential elements in this performance how does the lighting costume makeup sound and set design contribute to the tone of the scene why did you choose this performance and what movement in your life did you think about when you see this performance how do you relate to this performance what lesson did you learn from this performance that you can apply to your everyday life okay right so then your third paragraph is reflection and then at the bottom here you selected your body of work independently, right? You must write 700 to 950 words, no more or less. It has to be between 700 and 950 words. Use and cite one source. So what kind of sources do you think you might be able to cite for this project? Anybody have any ideas? Okay, so the YouTube video, you could, all right. What I'm thinking about you might want to do is you could either look up the cast. So if you go on to, um, let's say you're gonna write about the Wicked Broadway cast. You can go to playbill.com and maybe you're going to talk about some of the actors, right? You could also use, so you might want to write that down, playbill.com, broadway.com. If you're using a Broadway version of a musical is a good one because it shows lots and lots of different things. If you click on, let's say you're writing about Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. And then you click, there's all this stuff here where it tells you how long it is. If you click on know before you go, frequently asked questions, cast and creative is a good thing because it shows you who plays what and it also shows you things like who directed it. So if you wanted to talk about the costumes in this play, you could go and then refer to the costume designer and then cite this source, okay? All right, so everybody have a good handle on what you are going to be doing for the RPA paper. You're going to watch your play and you're going to write your critique. So we're not going to do, okay, when is it due? 1119. So you've got eight days. That's why I got rid of all the other stuff. Okay. So what I would love for you to do and if you look at class content, over the weekend, watch your play. And then on, let's see, what do I have you guys next week? I'm going to put this in here right now. The 17th? Yeah. On the 17th, we're going to have a draft day. So you bring your notes and we will, I will help you either write your first draft or I will help you edit anything that you've written before Tuesday. Okay. So the more that you bring with you, the quicker we can sort of get this done. And then on the 19th, you turn in your paper by midnight. Now, 
I have to have these graded and turned in by, let me pause my share because I'm not 100% sure when it is. That's not what I meant to click on. No, this one. Okay. Um, does it say? It doesn't say. Uh, they suggested that we use the day before Thanksgiving break, okay? Too long. What are you talking about? Too long. What do you mean, Jermaine? So the latest I can really accept it is the 20th. If you have to submit it over Thanksgiving break, you can. But of course, I can't assign you any work over Thanksgiving break. So that's why I want these done before then. Questions, concerns? I need to hear from those of you who I did not hear from about what um, play you're going to watch. So I haven't heard Amani, Corey, Eric, Caesar, Jaden. I do not have a play for any of you. So number one, watch the play. Two, write the, I would probably like just write the paragraphs in order, right? There, watch the play, write the rough draft, bring the rough draft to Tuesday next week. So those of you who have talked to me about what you are doing, please go ahead and begin the exit ticket, which I think should be open now. Those of you who I have not heard from, I need you to tell me what play you're going to watch before you can begin the exit ticket, because that's the very first question. So Jaden, Caesar, Eric, Corey, Amani. Okay. Um, that is a ballet, not a play. So you're not going to be able to write. Uh, if you can find it, Jaden, you can. Amani, have you found a version of it online? There is a version of it online if you don't have it already, Amani. Okay. Monty, I'm giving you a link to the first part of the version. Uh, Glass Menagerie, I know that there's, a, there's versions of that online. Okay. Glass Menagerie, that one. Okay. And Jaden, if, if you can find it, you can do the Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. It is, I will warn you, like five hours long. So if 
if you want to put in that time and you can find it, but it is, yeah, it's uh, it is a five hour long play. Okay, so do the exit ticket, then um, I'll let you out a little bit early. Use this time to make a plan, right? Or you can start watching your play. Yep, Marco, please do the exit ticket, the RPA paper exit ticket. Okay. All right, Jaden. That's fine with me then. Okay, Marco, thank you very much. Then you can go ahead and skedaddle. I don't know. You're going to have to search for it because I don't know. I don't know if we can even find it online. Um,
Uh, oh, let me see. That's not it. Okay, I think I may have found one. Skip the tears. Let's see. Um, Ivan, did, is it? It's in that list. Did that work? Okay, Ivan, let me give you a link. Yeah, it's like 150 something things. So that's probably why it doesn't list the whole thing. Um, if you're done with the exit ticket, you can, Jasmine, unless you have questions about the paper. So I'm fielding a bunch of questions about the paper right now in the chat. Yes, you. we will have to have a, that conversation, Jane. That is true. Okay, uh, Ivan, see if this works. Okay. Um,
And this is the only thing that you have to watch, Stefan Ivan. Like you don't have like a personal computer at home that you can watch it on. Okay, can you watch, can you try it on that? And then if that doesn't work, I actually have this on my OneDrive um, and I will share it to you. So maybe that will help. What, what do you think? Okay, all right. So use your personal computer and if it's if you still have problems with it, let me know. Um, I'm not able to find that Harry Potter one anywhere, Jaden. I think it's just too long and probably too. Um, I do have this one. What's happening over here? I turn up at the mission. But you oh wait. Never mind. This one's this is a bad version of this play. Um I'm going to give you this list, Jaden, so that you can look over it. Um, is he even? Oh, he left. Okay. All right. Um, if you can, Ivan, you can turn in that link, right, in your exit ticket, because we're going to try that. Um, and if, you know, if it doesn't, um, you too, Jasmine, if it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work. So you at least have it turned in. Okay, cool. And then I guess just email yourself that link and make sure that it works at home. Or however you wanna send it to yourself. All right, any other questions? Anybody else got problems answering the exit ticket? I need more help with the paper. Okay. All right. Well, that's it, y'all. I will talk to you Friday. Okay. And I'll see you then. See ya.